Once the steel area is prepared, Coroseal Rust Converting Primer can be applied. However, do not apply Coroseal when it is raining or rain is imminent. Coroseal will resist rain about two hours after application, so plan accordingly. Coroseal should not be applied when the dew point is within 5 degrees Fahrenheit or 2 degrees Celsius of the air temperature. The prepared surface should appear dry with no water puddles or dripping present prior to applying Coroseal. Apply Coroseal when temperature ranges are from 38 degrees Fahrenheit or 2 degrees Celsius up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. Be careful not to get air bubbles mixed into Coroseal when stirring, pouring, or applying. This will prevent pinholes caused by trapped air bubbles which may allow water to pass through to the steel and cause rust. You can apply Coroseal with a brush, a roller, or a spray gun. Apply Coroseal in one thick, wet coat. You can add more Coroseal to an immediately painted surface as long as you make another pass while the first pass is still wet and before it shows a thumbprint on touch. If this is your first time using Coroseal with your brush or roller, we suggest that you test a small patch of steel. Use the wet film gauge to get an idea of what the correct putting thickness looks like on rusted steel before continuing with general painting. Using a dry clean brush, apply Coroseal in one heavy coat, 8 to 10 mils wet film thickness or 200 to 250 microns wet film thickness. This coat should have no rust showing through the wet film. Avoid overpainting areas as this creates brush stroke marks or ridges in the coating. Check the wet film thickness with a wet film gauge from time to time as you apply Coroseal. Remember to touch up the holes left from the gauge. Remember, unlike some primers that require several thin coats, Coroseal works best when applied in one heavy coat. Do not apply in several thin applications. Coroseal turns from white to black on contact with rust. However, Coroseal contains no metal pigment, and when applied over old paint, it appears as a clean etch primer, allowing the old paint to show through the primer coat. Sometimes, very small flakes of well-bonded old paint, which remain among the rust, show through instead of turning black, as the rust does when it is converted. Do not thin Coroseal, as this will destroy the rust converter action. After applying Coroseal, allow 24 hours for rust conversion to complete. Temperature affects the speed of both drying and rust conversion. Rust conversion is the slowest of the two processes. The majority of the rust is converted in the first 24 hours of application.